Hey Clashers, a lot of you wanted to have a second episode about the Queen George Electric Dragon strategy because it is such a fun strategy to use and I will try to show you guys more different style of bases. Hopefully we're going to find some in Legends. I know a lot of you want to see how we are going to attack ring bases with this. I try to drop a little bit in Legends um, because I feel like higher up in Legends there is not that many ring bases to be honest. It's mainly box bases, it's mainly diamond shaped bases and I feel like maybe in lower Legends then that's where we're going to find more bases which you guys are attacking so let's dive into it okay it's no ring base but still it's a nice caesar base which are most of the time really annoying to attack as well so i feel like that's a prime example so on this one again what you typically try to do is queen charge the other side of the town hall because with that you're going to get to get the eagle which is always some nice value so that's what we're going to do on this one as well let's figure out a nice angle where we can come in from i guess we're starting over here and then the question is, do we use the flame finger over here? Yes, I think so. Let's just use the flame finger because I feel like it's such a, it's just such a strong siege, okay? Like that's the main thing. So, wizard over there, and then we're going to break twice, once in front of that uh, air defense, and then right into the air defense. Let's do it like this. Then the healers in just a second, delayed to the bottom side, wall break in again. And things are looking pretty ooh, good. Reach it up. Now we have to be careful. Let's wall break in the siege for later. Baby dragon, two loons. And queen has to go inside. But for now it's looking good, okay? For now it's looking great, actually. We have to just make sure that our siege is staying out of danger. Where is this mortar actually? The mortar is actually going down. That's amazing. Okay, that's really amazing. Uh, now we have to wait maybe another rage in just a second. Let's rage that indeed. Who's the wizard? Oh no, really I have missed that freeze. That kind of sucks. But hey, it's still it's, it's fine, it's still fine, okay? The siege at the top side is still going strong. We have one headhunter to take down that defending king. But we have to start now with our electric dragons. We have to start in a little bit with our electric dragons. <laughs> okay, so now start. Let the dragons are in, rage it up. And let's use the king over there to funnel. And then hopefully that's going to be enough. Let's freeze that. Okay, okay, for now let's go. Warn ability to protect everything. The king is running to the outside, that's still fine. We have the king ab queen ability in just a second now. Now we can use the royal champ in the back of everything. Let's do one barbarian over there, one there. And then we have to keep freezing that stupid thing in front of the tower with the scatter together. And that is some amazing value. That should be it, right? That has to be it. Freeze again, freeze again, freeze again. The queen is in danger. That, yeah. No problem whatsoever. No problem whatsoever. We can just put everything in there. Let's go. That was that was a clean one. That was a clean one. As I told you guys, just charge the other, other side of the town hall. And I know the... the Electric Dragons are not getting the most, but they're tanky. You do not need to invest too many spells, and they're it's quite powerful. At the same time, I think Lala would have been really tricky on this one with this backup, but let's just keep going, let's just keep trying, and let's see what we find next. Okay, we have an anti-three-star base. Let's dive in and see what we can make out of this one. So, we have again the opportunity of charging on the other side of the town hall. I mean, no big surprise by now, right? You should know that we're going to have the Electric Dragons later for the Town Hall. So we are going to dive in for that Town Hall far side to take down the Eagle early on. That's such an important thing. We can figure out already, we can figure out already if we can see any value for a Flame Finger. But for now, I don't really see something too crazy. We could use, maybe let's use it over here. Maybe that's something we can get good use of. With the flame flinger supporting my queen with the expo and everything and then she uh, should go to the far right side maybe take down the more from a tower let's hope for the best but let's use that wall break that's looking amazing that's really great giving us the access to the core that's exactly what we're looking for but for now we have to make sure the queen is staying alive without having to force her ability too early let's rage there now looking good looking good and at the same time the flame flinger is opening a lot of wards which could give us a huge advantage later on but for now, we are looking good as well. The queen should redirect at some point. Um, let's wait. And I think the rage from the from the healer should still be enough to push our queen through. That that's looking good. That's nice. Let's use an archer over here. Queen should wrap around. That's exactly what I was hoping for. The clan castle should come out soon as well. And then we're about to 
be ready for the next stage, which is the clan castle. We're taking that out. So what is in there? Archers. A lot of archers. More archers. Even more archers. Okay, let's just let's just use the poison. I don't I don't even I don't even know what is going on. Now the king on this side, and now the electric rings as well, and at the top side like that. Air warden, nice, 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 and then the royal champion to support that king. Rage things up, and things are not looking too bad at all. Let's rage the queen up, and then we need to make sure that this tunnel is going down quickly, not giving the opportunity to those defenses to deal too much damage. Warning ability now as well. And we have, uh, oh. The invisibility spell, so the scatter is going down, hopefully. Next dragons are splitting actually really nicely for us. But we have a lot of damage on that on that queen. Freeze it. Let's use the headhunter for the defending king, but that's not even needed to be honest. Let's just freeze that. And this should be our next three star. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That was again a nice attack. I feel like just if you get the value and everything with those um with this flame finger, it's just so strong. It's just so, so incredible strong. I love it. It's a lot of fun with this strategy, but I know a lot of people just getting kind of confused when I say this strategy is strong. If you're searching for the strongest strategy right now, this is definitely not it. I mean, this is no question even. I mean, if you want to go for the strongest strategy, like tournament wise, go for Queen Judge Lalo. But what I try to do in those videos and why I'm sharing so many different strategies, some of them are more on the fun side, some of them are more on the series side. Uh, well, th the reason is because I feel like I want to put as many strategies out there so you can choose what you want to play. Just sharing how you play them, how you have to uh, encounter those bases. And that's to me the important thing. So let's find one more base and hopefully completely demolish it. Okay, we find another interesting looking box base. We know the drill by now. Do not worry about the town hall at all. Okay, that's the important thing. But now let's check out what we can do queen charge wise. This base does not look like a lot of fun um, charging in, but we will try our best. We have the flinger again denied by the royal champion and by the queen. That's something which is getting done more and more, which is understandable because uh, this siege is kind of broken. So we have to work around that. Let's try that. Let's try to force the queen somehow into that compartment. This is what we would like to have, like charging into that single phone tower. This is what we would like to see. Let's raise that queen because the king is most likely going to come join soon. And even that defending wardens on the queen. That's unfortunate, but it should be all right as long as this queen now walking into that compartment. So let's hope for the best. Let's do one there, one there, and let's hope the queen is walking inside. Come on, queen. Do your best. Yes, there we go. The queen stepping inside the compartment. That is huge. Now the first wall break. Maybe that wall break was too early. Who knows? Because that might rule out the client cast, which is not good for us. But no, we take down the Inferno Tower first. And that is huge for us. Let's now see where the queen might go next. We can try it in another wall break. Oh my god, this wall break is looking amazing. Let's use the king to force my queen into that compartment. I think that would be incredible to get that queen into the core, taking down both more death Roman towers and everything. That would be looking incredible. So, one minion there, and then we have to start already soon with that, uh, with those elected dragons to make sure they're getting the value needed. So let's rage things up. So the queen is doing her thing, and let's now get those elected dragons in. Let's one there, one there. King ability, so ooh, maybe that was a bit too early because of the um, bomb tower there. That was unfortunate, but we can still use our queen with the healers together. That's not looking too bad. We have one more rage. The question is now, what do I rage? I think I will rage this one, freeze the town hall, and we're going to use the royal champion over here. So some nice lightnings. I want to see those. Warden ability. Come on, some nice lightnings. Come on, come on. We use the cleanup already here, and now we have ha we have to rely on our queen with the remaining troops to finish off this base, which might be a thing, which might be not a thing. We're going to see in just a second. Queen ability, not too bad, not too bad. Royal ability now. Let's do that. An invisibility spell. Defending queen is down. That is great news. And now it's all about this back end. Oh no, time is going to be an issue, guys. Time is going to be an issue. Let's freeze that. 
let's do the cleanup at the top side. Come on, come on. And let's hope for the best. Come on. Push. Push. You got this, guys. I will trust in you. Okay, the Electric Dragon got that. We have a set of the freeze. Oh, we do not even need it. And that's great because this is going to be the next three star. You can see, guys, this strategy is quite strong, as I said. And the most important thing, it's a lot of fun. If you want to give it a try, as always, the link to the strategy is down below in the comments. Feel free to use it. Let me know how it works for you if you have tried it out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you guys back tomorrow with the next one. Until then, see ya. And bye-bye.